who fancies uh, slow cooked pork, carrots, onions, some broccoli, some whitened sweet potato mash, all served in a big fat giant Yorkshire pudding. Mm -mm -mm. Let's make it, guys. Let's start off with the good old pork for the slow cooker. I've took the skin off for the crackling. That's come off. Um, that was, I think it was about £6.40 from Aldi, that was. Nice bit, bit of pork there. I do like pork. Um, it is cheap pork. That's what I thought I'd do. But you know, beef or whatever you want, I suppose. Bit of oil on there. Get some salt. I've got, also got two carrots, uh, three carrots, big carrots, and one large onion. We'll salt this all over and then we're going to get it in the pan and we're going to brown it up guys both sides get it nice and brown while that's browning two vegetable stock cubes into 700 ml of water i've got hot water out of the kettle get them in let them dissolve we'll turn it over should be brown on there now oh yes Carrots in the slow cooker along with the onions. The pork's browned up now. We'll get that on top. Oh, it's going to be a hearty meal, this guy. It's going to be a hearty meal, this. And we're going to get your good old stocking. Vegetable stock, 700 ml. Get in. There we go. Lid on. And that's going to go on for four hours. Okay, mash time. Three potatoes, three white potatoes, and I've got three sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to do, peel them up and get them chopped into cubes. So they're going to be mashed. So the shorter you, the smaller you do them, the quicker they will soften up. Potatoes are done, and they just rinse down to some cold water. Now, we've got about an hour left now on the old uh, pork. Well, hour and six minutes. There it is. I've just turned it over halfway through. Smelling absolutely delicious in here. Now, we're on to the Yorkshire pudding mix. So we want four eggs into a bowl. We will give that a whisk first. I have done eggs a few times. Uh, eggs. I have done, uh, what are called? Yorkshire puddings a few times on the channel, guys. So you know what I do, don't you? Now I think. Anyway, we'll whisk them up. Now, get your flour, whatever flour you use. Either um, plain flour or I'm using zero zero today because that's what I've got in. But well, exactly the same principle with plain flour. I use my, uh, my good old flour cup. 175 gram, guys. Which is this cup. Oh, and this will do three massive Yorkshire puds. Half in there. Give it a mix. And then the same with the other half. Get it all start going together a little bit. And then you want the same amount of milk. And just mix a little bit at a time, guys. Just a bit at a time. So you get like a creamy consistency. I think I've just spotted an eggshell somewhere. <laughs> oh no, I'll have to try and find that. There it is. I've got it. Didn't say that at the start. There we go. And me last little bit of milk. And that is about perfect. I've got my oven warming up, so I want to leave this now. You, you, you want your... Uh, your mixture to be room temperature. Don't matter if you have a few little lumps in there, guys. Well, that's about perfect there, look. Nice little creamy consistency. And pour it into a jug. And then leave it for half an hour. Before we get on with the, uh, the good old trays for the Yorkshire pudding. I've got these, I've had these years. Um, they're like little cake tins. That's what I use. I think I've got them from B&M. They're like a pound a piece. Only uh, cheap things, look. But they do good for massive Yorkshire puds. Now I'm using lard, but obviously use whatever oil you want. I find lard better. So I'm a tablespoon of lard in each one. 
And we'll let the oven warm up and then we'll get them in to get that fat nice and hot. Okay, me spuds are on, ready to boil. Um, I haven't salted them or anything yet. I'll put a bit of salt in when they start boiling. I've got myself another, I've got 600ml of vegetable stock guys. This is going to be for me broccoli. Uh, there's my fluets there, because I've just chopped up. I'm going to get them in, I'm just going to leave them in there until everything's nearly cooked. That's that done, that's that done. Before the Yorkshire puddings go in the oven, we're just going to shred the good old pork now. It's been in 3 hours and 15 minutes. And it's looking delicious and the smells. That's going to make a lovely gravy with some gravy granules alleys, I tell you. I'm just going to give it a little shred, but I'm going to keep it big lumps like that, if you get what I mean. It's not going to be completely shredded. Now, a bit of salt and pepper in the good old Yorkshire pudding mix. To taste, obviously, guys, however you like it. A lot more pepper for me. There we go. Let's give it a mix. And now we'll get the trays out. Oh, boiling up fat on the three. I've got the oven on 220 degrees. These are going to be in the middle shelf for 20, 25 minutes until they're done, guys. Until they're done. Don't open your door, obviously. Well, I'm going to get three. I should do. Bit more in there, look. Get a little bit more in. There we go, get them in the oven. Now get your meat out of your slow cooker. Oh, I do like a little bit of pork like this, guys. Gonna be delicious. And we'll wrap that up just to keep it to the side. I'm just gonna mash my potatoes, some butter and milk, that's all. A bit of salt and pepper. Nicking all the food. <laughs> Nicking all the food, Jim. That's starving. Jalapeno meat, it's absolutely delicious. And now she's coming in and making the spuds. Me. Do you know how long they're going to be? Just waiting on me old Yorkshire puds. <laughs> she's starving, bless her. It does, though, make you. There they are, look. Coming on, guys, coming on. I don't know if you can see it properly. Oh, yes. Another, another five or so minutes. Okay, that's boiled down a little bit now. We're going to turn it into some gravy. Whatever gravy you want, guys. Whatever gravy granules you want. Give it a mix. Mm -mm -mm. And how thick you want, depending on how much you want to pull in there. A little bit more, a little bit thicker. That is it. That's about it for us, man. Maybe a touch more, a touch more. Do like a thicker gravy. You got them bits of pork in there, look. The carrots, the onions. That's it, that's perfect. Right, we'll leave that there. Now, let's dish up. There we go. We'll do the one, and then uh Show you ones after. We've got a little bit of mashed potato on the side, like that. Some meat. Oops. Boil it on. Falling apart, which is delicious. We will get some broccoli. Not gonna have three, because she likes the broccoli. And we'll finish off with a delicious bit of gravy and carrots. Oh yes. There we go guys. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let me dish the rest up and we will get on the table. So guys, that is what you call a dinner. Mm -mm -mm. And the smells are delicious. I'm too busy eating. Too busy eating. Uh, yeah. Let's tuck in. Let's tuck in. I like that mash. You like that mash? That's really nice. I thought I'd do um, 
Because I know you just don't like sweet potato mash on its own, so I thought I'd double it up. Yeah, nice. Nice? Nice. Let me uh, bring it down to show you guys. Yeah. Good old mash. Did you make these yogurt puddings yourself? Yeah, I made them myself. Of course. I haven't bought a shop bought ones, do I? Make your own, Bab. Make your own. Mm. Mm. I'll season that perfect as well, ain't I? Yep. Season that perfect, that mash. Let's try some meat. There's loads of meat left, so we haven't had all that junk between the three of us. Mmm. Mmm. That's bang on, innit? That's bang on, guys. My kind of food. That's kind of food, innit? Mm. That. That's what I needed today. Yeah, Not bad. I needed something like that as well. Mm. There we go, guys. I'm going to go and eat it because I'm going to go in and enjoy it. Um, do it do it for your Sunday dinner. In a slow cooker. You ain't going to mess around. Uh, you ain't going to use pork, use beef if you want or whatever. And that's going to right fill you up. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go and eat it. It's delicious. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, we'll get my mouth full. See you later, guys. <laughs>